welcome back everyone. My name is London and I'm back with you to do your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, March 10, 2015. I picked three cards from my Anna K Tarot deck to give me a depiction of the energies who will be working with for this upcoming Tuesday. I have an Archangel Power Tarot card to give me an overall feel of the energies for this upcoming Tuesday. And I had two cards come from the Mermaids and Dolphins deck for Spirit Guide messages and Angel messages for today. So we're going to get started. The first card that we have up from the Anna K Tarot is the King of Cups. The King of Cups really shows this um, uh, middle-aged gentleman who is really observing this bug. He has some flowers that are in his lap showing that he has prosperity. He has some cups full of prosperity that are um, around him on his um, fireplace, on, um, you know, sitting off in the corner. He, he's sitting right in front of a fireplace. He's warm hearted. He's um, really, he has books around him that is showing that he's really studied the things he's working on. This person is a person who's wise, who really overcomes emotional difficulties. This is the king of cups. So the kings are people who really overcome the difficulties of any suit. And the cups is all about emotion. So it's letting you know that you've gotten to a place where you can overcome the emotional difficulties and your emotions have become a lot more balanced you're really studying and working on the things that um, you're working on right now this person is like a healer like a type of a doctor type of person who really gives uh, he can even be like a therapist type of person who really gives good advice to others and really helps others he's wise he's you know he's just a person who really cares for the well-being of other people so that's what is letting you know you're in a good place emotionally you've overcome some dif difficulties you're studying the things that you're working on and you're in a really good place emotionally the next card that we have is the page of pentacles upright and we had this card yesterday's reading which was um reversed so it's letting us know that there's been a change in the energy and the page of pentacles energy is a young person who's inexperienced who's really taking the time to work on the things that they're trying to create they're really having that patience, waiting for the payoff, you know, having that faith, um, sticking with their commitments, really being reliable and dependable, working on the things that they're working on and paying um, a great deal of attention to it. And that's what it's letting you know. It's showing yesterday that you may have had a little bit of imbalance around these things, wanting them to come quickly. But now you've come to a, a more ba a balanced pace emotionally where you're able to really really have um, that patience within yourself to really continue to work on the, your thing, the things that you're working on. Continue to put that work into it. To continue to put um, your focus into it. As you see, these both of these people are really focused on their endeavors, the things that they're working on. So it's telling you to continue to focus on the things that you're working on. Create those um, strategies, those plans, and those goals to get you to where you need to be. And know that you're um, on the right path. The the next card that we have is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is an, another amazing card to have, especially in reverse. Um, this card upright shows this um, wintry season with these people who are just not prepared well for this wintry season. And it shows this man who's really looking pretty destitute. Um, He's um, getting some help from this woman who looks like she's there to console him and help him. And they're not paying attention to the shelter that's... Um you know, in back of them, this church that's um, offering warmth and stability. But it, what this card is talking about is talking about financial worry, financial loss, you know, hard times, hardships, and also being able to accept um, help from other people when you need help. And that's what this card is talking about. As you see, the woman is there to help him. And he's not, you know, he has this little tent that is just blocking him barely from the element. And he's just really having it hard. But is um, in reverse is letting you know that to reach out for help if you need help. It's letting you know that there are people that are around you that are um, able to assist you with the things that you may be dealing with. It's letting you know to continue working on the things that you're working on. It's letting you know that um, to have that patience on the things that you're working on also and continue to, um, to work on them. And it's letting you know that you're going to 
get into a place that's a lot more um, financially stable for you. This financial hardship is going to fall away. So it's telling you to continue to work on this project and know that um, once you continue to um, work on it and motivate yourself and continue to study upon it, that the, your financial hardships will fall away. But it's letting you know also if you're having any troubles around your finances right now where you need dire help, it's letting you know that people around you um, are able to um, offer some assistance. So if you need help um, in any situation that you may be dealing with, look out for help because help or um, reach out for help because help is available to you and it can really help you um, with this, these hard times you're having. The overall energy that we have is the Three of Pentacles, which is the Three of Ariel. And it says, do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. And I really like working with uh, others in a cooperative manner because they bring me back to the Five of Pentacles where this person is really helping this other person right here. And that's what it's letting you know. It's telling you that other people... Um, are there for your support. They're able to help you and um, to really, um, you know, cooperate with the people that are needing your help right now. And it's also telling you to do the do what you love. Invest in the things that are really like your labors of love that are beneficial for you. Continue working on those things and do what you love and invest um, um, time into those. It's telling you with these two cards right here that these people have really invested their time into um, making sure that these things come out valuable for them. This person with their knowledge and this person with their endeavors. So it's telling you to continue investing in it and you'll get to this place where these hard times are over. The two spirit guide messages and angel messages that we have today. The first one is stay optimistic. It says your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. And it shows this mermaid who's really looking at this man and this structure above him. And she's just about to um, leave the scene right before this um, guy is about to, you know, they're about to fall in love together and get married and go off into this castle. But what it's telling you is telling you not to quit before the miracle occurs. It's telling you not to give up on these endeavors that you have right now because you've, you've been kind some hard times is telling you to continue working on those things know that the angels are with you and helping your dreams come true and it's telling you don't quit right before the miracle occurs because um this instability that you've been going through it's not going to last and if you need help reach out for help the next card that we have is helpful person and it says someone wants to help you <laughs> that's crazy is it I just said that, but it says someone wants to help you think of whom that might be and initiate contact. But what this card is basically letting you know is that right here with the Five of Pentacles is really backing that up. It's telling you that someone around you can help you with the situations um, that you're dealing with and to think of who that person might be. And once you know who that person is that can help you with the situation, initiate contact with them and know that they are going to be someone who can really Really console you and help you get out of this negative place that you're in and continue working on the things that you're working on have that patience continue working on them and um, just know that the things that you're working on are really 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 good and to um, just keep doing the things that um, you enjoy and to know that you're you're in a place right now where you know you're um, you're in a good place where you're um, emotionally balanced and you're wise and you're able to help other people. So this person, this may be the person that you want to um, reach out to help this page of pinnacles. So we have a king right here and a page of pinnacles. So this may be, you may want to reach out to this king of cups person who has really um, studied their um their craft and is really like a healer type of person who can help you. So if you are this page of cups, energy is letting you know that to continue working on the things that you're working on. And if you do need help, that help is available to you and it will, um, you know, let help you let go of a lot of these worries and these lost feeling. And, um, 
you know, this person can help you with that situation. So if you need help, think of who that person might be and think of um, and initiate contact with that person. All right. These are the messages that I have for Tuesday. Um, I thank you for watching and I will be back with you for the middle of the week's reading. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.